I know this video is going to shock a lot of immigrants around Italy, especially those who are in Libya. Last month, I reported a video where Italian authority carry immigrants from Libya direct to Italy with flight. dalla Libia di rifugiati che da tanti mesi ormai aspettavano di poter essere evacuati. Eh, il primo volo di quest'anno, vogliamo ringraziare il governo italiano per averlo permesso. Ce ne vorrebbero tantissimi di più di questi voli, sono voli salvavita che aiutano delle persone con estreme vulnerabilità a poter arrivare nel nostro paese e noi siamo al loro fianco e ringraziamo tutti quelli che l'hanno reso possibile. And I have already explained this thing in my previous videos that the UNHCR, that is the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, with the Italian government together with some associations, they are trying to bring a lot of immigrants from Libya through flight. And last month, they brought some immigrants. This very month, I am talking to you on the 9th may 2024 another immigrants also landed here in italy guys my own is to give you the information you have to work up put you need to work towards it i will give you the information and you need to go and do the research please you need to watch the video till end so that you know how you will go about it if you also want to be the lucky one the next people who will be coming here in Italy by flight, then this video is for you. Their target is in three years, they should be able to bring 1,500 refugees from Libya. And guys, this is the contact of the UNHCR. The last time, a lot of people were telling me that if they call the number, it's not reaching. That is why their email is there. You need to write them message or if you call them and they are not picking, you try back again. And guys, as I said before, my own is to give you the information. You need to do the research and know how you will get contact with them that is why i always give you videos maybe you know some people in this video contact them let them show you the way how they applied and today they are here in italy by flight now they are saying 119 refugees landed in rome on thursday may 9th after being evacuated from libya they are from eritrea egypt somalia ethiopia sudan and south sudan this doesn't mean that if I didn't mention your country, you cannot become refugee. You need to call them, explain your situation to them. If you refer or if you fall into their category, you may also be here. An agreement between Italy's government, the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR, and several Italian non-governmental organizations allows for the evacuation of 1,500 refugees from Libya to Italy over the next three years. We all know the way our brothers and sisters are suffering in Libya. So if we get this kind of information, we need to share the information so that they also know what is going on. They can do research to be part of this journey so that they can also find yourself here in Europe or even in Italy without passing through the Mediterranean Sea. And guys, Tap Tap Send still remains the number one mobile app you can use to send money back to Africa. If you download it for the first time and you are sending money back to Nigeria, please use my promo code official Niger in capital letters like this. You are getting additional five euro 
bonus on top of the money that you are sending remember we tap tap send you don't pay any sending fee or any commission and their service is very very fast now Let's show the video when we about you give you the rest of the update. So stay tuned. Sono arrivate oggi qui all'aeroporto di Fiumicino a Roma eh, 119 rifugiati evacuati dalla Libia, eh, tra cui 30 donne e 11 nuclei familiari. Eh, sono persone di diverse nazionalità che sono giunte in Italia eh, grazie a un protocollo di intesa che l'UNHCR, l'Agenzia dell'ONU per i Rifugiati, ha firmato nel dicembre dello scorso anno, il 2023, con il Ministero degli Interni e il Ministero degli Affari Esteri, che consentirà di evacuare appunto da quel paese, dalla Libia, un totale di 1.500 persone nell'arco di tre anni. Si tratta della seconda evacuazione nell'arco di quest'anno, del 2024. Eh, devo dire che è sempre una grandissima emozione, una grandissima gioia vedere le facce di queste persone, di questi rifugiati che dopo tante sofferenze, eh, tante violenze riescono a trovare la speranza di un futuro migliore. guys i hope you have seen the video so please try to share this video so that our brothers and sisters out there will know what is going on may the almighty god bless you for watching this video until we meet again in the next video please stay safe and stay blessed peace out